go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are Lord's property. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. We interrupt your... Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. What? All right, I suppose. How might I assuage your fears? Yes, do tell. Indeed. And you know where he is? Excelsior! An apprehension of this caliber will be tremendous for my career. I'll send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, only... Oh, la. Oh, no. The thing is, I needed money. A lot of money. Quickly, for reasons. That's really neither here nor there, don't you think? I might have... pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. I'll thank you not to question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. Oh my law. You've done it! You've saved my hide! I can't thank you enough. 
Now then, uh, let me see. I just have to apply the seal here, sign like so, and... Ta-da! <laughs> here are the forms you'll need once you reach Byzantium. Oh, and a nav key so your ship can travel there. Those authorization forms will let you speak with Sophia when you arrive. I'll send her a message straight away to let her know you're coming. She'll be delighted, I'm sure. Where have you been living, Captain? Under a rock? Miss Sophia's got to be the second most important person in the entire colony. Yes, quite. Miss Akanda is just the person to take someone with your particular talents and sterling character under her wing. She can fill you in on all of the board's operations in the colony, really put your talents to use. Best of luck to you and thank you again. Give my regards to the unreliable. Wow. Byzantium. I guess that'll be pretty crowded. Do you know what's happening on Terra One? Last I heard. Hey, you got a second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port, got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot, that's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're serious, you're giving me a shot. All right, uh, hang on, hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust, maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a toss ball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. 
foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. Intruders will be... Oh, it's you. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? What? You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. Oh, that's a relief. Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around, I mean. Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars and knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that 
What's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. That's what I like about you, boss. You got a mean swing. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Yeah, boss? Are we gonna get in trouble today? Not that I want to, just seems to happen around you, is all. That's on account of how I never met her. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. I see you haven't been shot to pieces by the guards. Do you have an appointment? Of course. You're that curious spacer Mr. Bedford mentioned. Just a moment, please. Madam Adjutant, Bedford's contact has arrived. Shall I clear your schedule? No, thank you, Percival. I doubt this will take long. I'm Sophia Akande. Adjutant to the Chairman. What could possibly have given you that impression? Did you imagine you could purchase your way into the office of our Honorable Chairman Rockwell just by greasing Bedford's palms? Only six to eight weeks? You have a generous opinion of our bureaucracy. Chairman Rockwell is a busy man. 
For the time being, you're stuck dealing with me. I've been reading all about you. This dossier from Emerald Vale was especially engrossing. I have a file on everyone. I have a file on Percival here. You wouldn't believe what he gets up to during private hours. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. We'd nearly written Edgewater off as a failure. But after you meddled in their power supply, you forced me to, shall we say, re-evaluate their future. Anyone with eyes can see that you're talented. But you're also unpredictable. I don't like unpredictable. I have a job for you. One of our cartographers needs to be retired. I want you to carry it out. Rachel Lockwood, cartographer for the Bureau of Exploration. She's done some sensitive work for us, but now she's a loose end. Lockwood has to go. Get rid of her. Bring me her work. Then we'll talk about Dr. Wells. We're gonna kill somebody without even knowing what they did wrong, if anything? So now we're taking orders from this pompous bureaucrat? Keep your associates in line, Captain. I expect them to follow your orders as you follow mine. At the very least, I expect you to do better than the other freelancer. Report back to me when you're finished. I'll tell you what I can. It isn't as if we're executing Lockwood for mislabeling a river on a map. It isn't what she's done, but what she knows that forces our hand. The nature of Lockwood's work was sensitive, confidential, and concerns the future of Halcyon. I can't risk leaving her alive. The board has a lot of problems. The absence of competent security is just one. I'm the chairman's adjutant, not his sycophant. I can't serve the board if I'm blind to our own mistakes. What Halcyon needs is people of integrity. People who act out of a sense of duty rather than fear. I hope you're one of those people. Let's not mince words. Wells is a dangerous criminal and a lunatic. He's earned every bit of his bounty. I know you're eager to collect on that bounty. Deal with Lockwood, then we'll talk. Excellent. Percival will handle your paperwork for you. Official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals.
Do we really need all this security? I have to go through three checkpoints just to take a bath. Is it me, or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Mm -hmm. Cannery and all. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough all right, how does this sound? Rizzo's purpleberry fudge. A soft, sour, heavy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored scent. Suck it. Chew it. Welcome. Welcome to the Byzantium office of, I mean, Bureau. Bureau of Exploration. I'm... Never mind who I am. Hi there. Well, hey there. What can I do for you? Ah, yes, Lockwood, right. Unfortunately, she isn't in the office right now. Oh, you can't do that. Sorry. It's, uh, locked. Yes. It is locked and you cannot enter. Of course I've got a key. I'm the receptionist. It's my job to have a key. I'm not giving it to the likes of you, though. I am honor-bound to protect this office. Oh, uh, well, fine. Hurry up before she comes back and catches me. I mean, you catches you. I don't know. Five hours, five days. I'm a receptionist, not a clock. If I knew I wouldn't be here, would I? Uh, I mean, sometimes she's at the bar wetting her beak. Billingsley's, that's the place. You checked there yet? You should.
Well, hey there. What can I do for you? Yeah? I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a counter waiver, and you know how... Riddle's so, Mock Apple I'm Cider. Here we go! I don't want to die! Bring him down! I'll be picking one! Poor body's hurt! away from me. Were you following me? Back off, all right? I've got a slide rule and I'm not afraid to use it. Wow, am I ever glad I followed you. I figured you were onto something when you were snooping around the office. So shall we get to the killing? What? Killing? What the fuck is going on here? My friend and I here have jobs to do. You just sit tight for a minute while we discuss how we're going to handle this. The contract calls for her maps, yeah? Half the bits for the maps, half for the confirmation of the kill. How's about I take the kill, and you take the maps? Hold on, okay? Just hear me out. What if... Will you pipe down? We're trying to have a business meeting here. You must be new to the assassination game. If you talk to your victims, it makes it harder to kill them, see? It's not recommended. Didn't you read the handbook? Please, just listen. You don't need to... Shush! Oh, all right. The anticipation is killing me, though. <laughs> Get it? Because I want to kill her? Wait, 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 wait. Whatever the contract is, I'll pay you both the full amount. You let me live, and you don't have to split anything. That's a lot of bits. But, uh... I mean, I've got a reputation to uphold. How would you feel if someone paid you to make bogus maps? Listen, I don't want to beat around the bush. If you're dead set on taking that deal, I'm dead set on taking your life. What a damn shame. I was starting to like you. Jackass is incoming! Hey, boss, I want to 
I'll talk to you. If we wanted the board's attention, we got options. Piracy, vandalism, maybe some light arson. We want to put some fear in the board, right? Get him scared of us. The board don't know the meaning of the word respect. The only language they understand is exploitation. You just got an audience with Sophia Conde. That's the adjutant to the chairman. <laughs> you sure we should be trusting her? If you think she's using us, why'd you give her the time of day? I know we're freelancers and all. We take work where we can find it. But we gotta be vigilant, you know? This is how the board gets you. A job here, an errand there. Before you know it, you're calling him sir and ma'am. Just trying to watch out for you, boss. I appreciate your time. Let's get back to it. You just... You killed him! Please, just leave me alone. I don't know anything, I swear. You can't be serious. All right. Here. Take the money. Just leave me alone. With it, you wretched contraption! Does it? I've been waiting for this! That's gotta hurt! So is this how it's going? Rachel Lockwood was a cartographer. She made maps. She wasn't hurting anybody. So tell me why she deserved to die. Hilarious, boss. I'm glad you're having fun, but I was hoping for a real answer. I ain't afraid of you, boss. Your tough as grit routine might leave some poor sod quaking in his boots, but it won't work on me. I'm still waiting for an explanation. Tell me why Lockwood deserved to die. Nah, we're done here. Beginning. Incoming!
apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Wonderful. I'll file the appropriate paperwork on your behalf. Meanwhile, Adjutant Akande would like a word with you. So it's done. Lockwood is dead. You followed my instructions to the letter. It's rare to find a freelancer with the discipline of a soldier. You've demonstrated your talents. If you're ready to talk about Phineas Wells, I'm prepared to listen. That complicates things. The rings are massive and almost impossible to scour. Wells had to be in touch with you somehow. Find his communication terminal and send us a tracing signal. Once I verify his location, I'll arrange for your payment. Good. I look forward to it. Percival will file the appropriate paperwork on your behalf. Once you've sent a tracking signal from Wells' lab, we'll move on to the next step. As instructed, the code for our secure communication channel. On behalf of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, I bid you good day. Oh, just a receipt for your services and my receipt for your receipt, and also a standard declaration of intent to perform espionage. Very routine. I'll see to it personally. I'm flattered beyond description.
company ammo. I'm Incoming. tougher than they look! Pick up any more strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? The unit is a cleaning SAM. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify SAM. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for SAM to properly operate. Activating Contingency Plan DM-17. Captain is a psychopath. Please use your travel terminal and venture to Monarch via the Cascadia landing pad. I should warn you, Captain. Cascadia is an incredibly hazardous location, rife with deadly fauna and flora. You will most likely die within three steps of the landing pad. Have fun. Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. Yes. There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice! Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board-certified jingle their favorite song. 
Why was the chemist sad? Because all her beakers are gone. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on A Lost Hope? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Traveling the system with you, Captain. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast! That's loud! I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Why was I built to feel ennui? You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Your signal made it through. We pinpointed Dr. Wells's orbital lab. Excellent work. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Transmissions are so impersonal. I'd like to meet you face to face. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain?
are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. We'll be here, Captain. Or will we? Haha. <laughs> Just a little joke for you. Curious. Wells may have been a delusional madman, but he risked his life to save yours. So why turn him in? Revenge is a powerful motivator. Wells was thoughtless and manipulative. Turning him in was the right thing to do. You've done well. You're efficient, talented, loyal. And if you're ready to get to work, we can finally start doing some good in this colony. Work with us, and we'll make you the richest freelancer in Halcyon. There has been a surge in off-world broadcasting coming from Monarch. Much of it is propaganda. All of it is illegal. We need those broadcasts shut down. All of Monarch's extraplanetary broadcasts are routed through Devil's Peak Station. I want you to claim Devil's Peak Station for the board, by force if need be. Monarch is a den of anarchy and barbarism. Keep your wits about you, and remember that you're doing the law's work. Monarch is a hotbed of anarchists operating under the misguided notion that the colony doesn't need the guiding hand of the board. It may not be a single individual behind these broadcasts, but any number of factions. I have an agent working in Stellar Bay, Everett Gill. Have a word with him as soon as you arrive. The passphrase is, the kind of pine grows at night. Yes. So what? Look, that's not important. Get to Stellar Bay and find Everett Gill. Speak to Percival before you go. You'll arrange for your nav key and your reward for turning in wells. Adjutant Akande has instructed me to reward you for information leading to the arrest of Phineas Wells. Please allow me to extend my felicitations on a job well done. Quite so, sir. I've authorized your ship with an official board-certified nav key. Do exercise caution while visiting Monarch. As an acting agent of the board, you are entitled to purchase a selection of official board-certified equipment at a discount. Do let me know if you wish to take advantage of this special offer. I am at your service.
I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? I don't believe so, Captain. Transmission incoming. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the Information Broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. <laughs> 